Hey guys, welcome to the JES Diner. So last week in Art Teacher 101, I shared with you some tips and tricks on how we do art shows at my school. Our art shows have two components. It has a display of all of the artwork that all of the students have made all year up and down the halls of my school, which I will be certain to take you on a tour of. The other component of our art shows are our clay displays. Clay is always displayed in my art room and this year since all of the students learned about contemporary food sculptor Peter Anton they each made a realistic sculpture of food. We put all of the food together and created a 1950s style diner for our display. I even encouraged the kids to dress up and it was a huge hit. So I thought I would share with you and take you on a little tour of all of the projects and how we set up the room right before we have to dismantle everything and take everything home. So come on, let's go to the JES Diner. All right, so let's go on a tour of the art show. So the first thing that everybody saw when they walked in was this little spot where they could get a free soda jerk hat. And I actually had a fourth grade student who just kind of made it his job to stand here, show the kids how to open the hats and to put them on. And when they entered, this is the view that they saw, but before I go any further, I did want to show you this donation box. So we try to do a philanthropic, something philanthropic with our artwork every year, usually our clay projects. And this year we were taking donations for the Nashville Rescue Mission. We were selling, quote unquote, selling our artwork for donations for the rescue mission. It was totally optional. I tried to make it very low key so there was no pressure. And I'm just going to walk in slowly so as not to make you feel queasy. And I'll give you a little bit of a view and then take you on a close up tour. So here is a view. If you've toured, taken a video tour of my room before, you know it's really big because it used to be the school library. So we had about 400 plus clay projects and fourth grade sculptures on display. And let me show you some close-ups. So on our little menu board here, I have everything that the kids have created written down. And just to keep it kind of kitschy and fun, I wrote little prices. The thing with the prices was, though, is that everybody took that as the amount that they should donate to the donation box, so that actually worked out really well because then it was ex inexpensive and people could easily donate if they wanted to to the rescue mission. So there was no real rhyme or reason as to how I laid the clay projects out. I just did a project or a class per table. And so my fourth grade students, they actually did three different projects. Well, I take that back. I did three different projects with four different classes. So one class did cake, or I'm sorry, this is pie. And every one of our projects done in this manner are containers. So these are our pie containers. The teachers lent me their um, cake and pie stands for display. Some of the kids who finished early chose to paint their plates and others just were working so hard on all the details of painting their pie. So this, like I said, was fourth grade. They created these pies in one hour, one class period, and then they spent their next class period, once they were out of the kiln, painting them with a gouache, and then I sprayed them with a clear varnish. So those are our fourth grade pies. First grade, I did the same project with all my first grade classes. They all made little pinch pot cups with a handle and a uh, texture pressed saucer and donuts and we put those on display with our little paper weavings just to use those as kind of a placemat for them. The kids glaze the cup and the saucer as you can see but for the donut they painted the donut and we used puffy paint on the donuts. Puffy paint is the magical child elixir in case you are wondering. From there I'm going to show you our diner. So the kids worked hard on painting the diner, but ultimately we ran out of time to finish it. So I had some former students pop by yesterday, and they finished it off for me. They added some jazz, sparkly paint to my jukebox to kind of jazz it up a little bit. My counter was looking a little empty, so some of my first grade and third grade classes the day before the art show created these little Sundays with some transparent um, film and paper and again puffy paint and I'll walk you through those steps too. So down here 
are our hamburgers. This one was one of my favorites because they look so realistic and the kids had so much fun creating these. This is by third grade and we went ahead and purchased these little paper trays and checkerboard um, paper just to kind of make it look more realistic. If the kids finish their burger containers, because they are containers, if they finish them and they had extra client, extra time, then they could add things like fries. We also had chicken nuggets and random other food items. My only requirement was it had to be food. Another third grade class, they made pancakes. And these are also containers, a coil container of a pancake. And again, they could add additional things to it, keeping in mind that it was a breakfast food. So we were thinking of breakfast items to add and what you might like on your pancakes. And this pancake with Tabasco and bacon is always making me hungry. It always looks phenomenal. So over here, this is another fourth grade project. These guys made cake. So we have cake containers as opposed to pie. We looked at lots of different pictures of um, cake online. It was lots of photos of different kinds. We would just Google different pictures of cake to give everybody ideas. Again, we looked a lot at the artist Peter Anton's work who makes phenomenally realistic looking food for our inspiration. Kindergarten, most of them made tacos. This was such a fun project for them to make, especially since they got to use the um, garlic press to add things like cheese, which they thought was great. They just had a big time adding more and more things to their tacos. Um, these were actually then dipped in brown watered down paint, and then all they had to do was paint the inside of the taco, and that made it so we didn't have a lot of white spots, and it also made it so they looked more realistic. Um, we have another class that did pancakes. And again, if they finished early, they were able to paint their plate. And these were just those inexpensive dollar store plates they could add color to. Another fourth grade class, they did pizza containers. A big shout out to Sparrow and Franklin. They donated these pizza boxes for the cause. So again, they could make their pizza as tall as they wanted to. And we also used the garlic press for the cheese on those. Extra clay could be used to make something food related. So these are the fourth graders extra clay projects that they worked on. We got some lo mein noodles. One kindergarten class created spaghetti with meatballs. And they have, these are also containers, and they have a little glazed tray that they went with. The pizza cracks me up because I love that some of them got really creative and made a bite out of their pizza, which I think is hilarious, and all the different toppings. We even have one back here with anchovies on it. More hamburgers. And on my cabinets, I took photos of the kids in the diner, being a server, a chef, or a customer, they then created those into ads. If they didn't have time to do that, then we simply just used their photos for a display. And last but not least, second grade made cupcakes. These are also containers. So these are our second grade cupcakes that are on display. These are a little wobbly, so we kind of made sure that they were put away and so that nobody would touch them. Um, and we even decorated to make it a little bit fancy, some of the counter space like that. And one last thing I wanted to show you, here's more cupcakes. That wasn't a part of the food display or the diner, was our fourth grade pencils and crayons. So this was actually a display that my middle school students put together for me because at the 11th hour, I was running out of time. So they took care of labeling and making that display for me, which I was very thankful for. Of course, since it's a diner, we had some music playing and we also had all of the students' photos and a slideshow which was fun for the parents to see too and to listen to the music. And all of the kids were dressed to the nines for the occasion. Thank you for letting me take you on a tour of our art show. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.